This is Marcus Corval uh, with Studio MMA and MMA Nut, and we're here with Danny Los Cool Castillo. Uh, we're looking at you. You're a big 155er. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you're part of uh, Team Alpha, uh, Alpha Male up with uh, Uriah Faber, who's also fighting on the card. Uh, you're not new to the UFC, but this is in your backyard, so to speak. You're going to have a lot of fans there tonight. We heard them before when you guys are working out. To make a difference at all, more pressure? No, not at all more pressure. Um, you know, it, it's motivating. You know, I want to put a show on for those guys. They rarely get a chance to see me fight. I'm either fighting in, you know, on the East Coast or Midwest. So, you know, times are hard right now in this economy. So fortunately, you know, my friends can make the trip two hours away. I'm from Sacramento. I wrestled uh, probably about 20 minutes away from here in the college. So- um, You said Davis, right? No, 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 that's Uriah. I wrestled at Menlo College. Okay, and uh, last call, what's that from? Being the last guy leaving the bar or? Yeah, it has a little bit of, of both, you know. Um, you know being, um, being the last guy in the gym as well. That's a good thing to be, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, we are watching the, the Ultimate Fighter playing off right now. You had a guy on there, TJ, who's been, uh, he's doing pretty well. I'm not sure, is he in the semifinals? He's in the semifinals right now, I believe, right? Yeah, he fights tonight. Fights tonight, nice. On the show. On the show. On the show. Tonight, on the show. Um, we have one of our guys from Sweden, Hamid uh, Akira Khorasani on there, who's uh, been pretty, it's been uh, uh, after he uh, fought and some people considered that he tapped, he didn't tap. Uh, have you been watching the show? Yeah, I have. Uh, you're talking about the guy with the funny hats? With the funny hats. Okay, did yeah. he tap or did he not tap? I, I think he did. I think he tapped. Um, it's, it doesn't really seem like he didn't tap. It's more of a tap than anything and, um, you know, he, sh he has a few fights, so you know, experience, you should know. I mean, not even to come that close to even doing anything of the sort when you're in trouble like that. It's more of a posture and uh, getting out of there, not looking for a tap. TJ's fighting tonight, you said, and um, he was on the show. He's not supposed to be speaking about the show, but uh, coming back, does it seem real positive, more, more confidence? Any difference in him since he came back from the house? You know, I wouldn't even be able to tell if he lost his first fight. Uh, he's so motivated and he's just an angry kid, you know. Really? He seems like such a nice guy. No, he is definitely a nice guy, but when we're training, it's just full out, just kind of uh, get after it. So, um, you know, he stays motivated and um, I wouldn't be able to tell you if he lost his first fight. Obviously, he didn't. He's in the semifinals, so I don't really know what's going on. Your team, Alpha Man, you have a lot of wrestlers in there. Uriah right, obviously comes from a great wrestling background, yourself as well, and, and, and TJ's just got great wrestling as well. Um, does that help when you all come from the same style of a background? Does you get a little bit more competitive? Do you guys tend to grapple a little bit more with each other just to show who's the better wrestler in the gym? Um, we also have Chad Mendes as you know, a really good wrestler. And we have a bunch of fighters that people haven't heard of yet that haven't made the big stage. Justin Buckles had five fights in the UFC. He's strictly stand-up. Um, so I think uh, sometimes we get in those wrestling matches and it's kind of uh, put pride on the line, who's get the takedown or who doesn't. But more than, um, more often than, um, than, than none, we're uh, fighting stand-up. You know, we've been wrestling our whole life, so it's, uh, you know, it's good to, to, to work some stand-up. You know, in fact, we have more stand-up practices than we do wrestling practices. And uh, come Saturday night, you're fighting alongside your, your teammate Uriah. Um, is it more motivating to fight on the same card, fight at the same time, or is it, does it become difficult to fight at the same time since you have the same coaches and you need that extra time with the coaches? No, not at all. Um, it's actually better because um, you know we're in the same mind frame. You know we're peaking at the same time. Um, you know our aggression picks up. You know towards the camp, it's awesome. It's a great dynamic. Also, um, you know it's cheaper in my pocket. You know I don't have to fly too many corners in. We share the cost. Uh, you know I don't have to feed Master Tong every time. Your eye feeds him one day, I feed him the next day. So um, it's better just to have my friends. You know, even if he wasn't on the card, he'd be here with me. You know, um, when our when our teammates fight, um, you know, they all come together. We all come, you know. So TJ uh, Dillashaw will be here tonight. Chad Menez will be here tonight. Joseph Benavidez will be here tonight. Um, you know, we got all our guys coming out to support us. You seem like you have a very strong team spirit in that team. And uh, we also have uh, Misha Tate, who's uh, not an alpha male. I presume she's the alpha female of the, of the gym. How is it having uh, such a high level female on the team? Does she get the time with the guys? Does she train with girls? Yeah, it was good having her um, on our team. She's no longer on our team anymore. Uh, her and uh, uh, Brian Carraway, they moved. So they're no longer at the team. When she was preparing for her title fight, it was awesome having her around. Um, you know, she did everything like the guys. It wasn't even a guy-girl thing. It was a teammate thing. 
That's great. And uh, the guys are here tonight, and you also have some other guys that have been training with you guys. Obviously, North, Calif North California, you have some great fighters out here, Gilbert Melendez and so on. Um, Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz. Do you guys get together with other teams from around the neighborhood to train with? Or? Uh, the, my opponent, Shamar Bailey, is a southpaw, so um, I went down to Caesar Gracie's and I got, uh, you know, uh, I think it was 12 to 15 rounds with uh, Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz is one of the best southpaws uh, in the lightweight division. So, you know, I was able to roll with him. The last day of sparring, I got to roll with Nick. Um, you know, so it was awesome. It, it's great. And those guys are super cool. Um, you know, I think uh, Nick gets a bad rap. But when you know him on a personal level, the guy's one of the cooler guys I've met in MMA, and um, I'm glad that uh, our teams are are connected. And uh, you know, our 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 fighters don't fight their fighters, and we kind of have a bond. And any predictions on Nick Diaz versus GSP? I'm going Nick Diaz. Anything you see in his game that that will make it very difficult for GSP that night? Well, I thought um, you know I, I, GSP is one of the best you know one of the best fighters out there, and I looked up to him a lot. But rolling with Nick and knowing his, um, you know, his personality, I just think he's going to be too much. Um, I think he's going to be in his face. He's not stoppable. His cardio is uh, world class. You know, no one has a gas tank like him. And I think um, him coming forward, it doesn't matter where the fight goes. If GSP does take him down, he's got great wrestling. He's got to fight one of the best ground game fighters in the world. And um, I think he might be in trouble. If they stand back up, Nick's coming forward with punches. So it's going to be a rough night. Um, I can't wait to see the fight. Talking about waiting to see the fight, you are tough. You have a tough opponent. You are a tough fighter. Look forward to seeing your fight. Anything that the fans should look forward to on Saturday night? Uh, me winning <laughs> with a stoppage. Any, uh, that's the prediction, stoppage. Yeah, stoppage. Any round? Uh, I'm looking at the second. I'm going to fill him out the first round and just let it all hang out in the second. If he survives the second round, I, I think uh, me pushing the pace is going to tire him out a lot. He carries a lot of muscle, so. Uh, you know, me looking to continue a little bit of what I did in the second round and the third round and me coming out with my hand raised. So last call in the second round? Definitely. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Good luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.